Hello, what's up, YouTube photographer Ronnie Sweet, and I try. In this tutorial, you're going to be learning about color grading and skin retouching in just Photoshop. So, if I told this is what, what you have always looked up for, make sure to hit the like button because it helps you to push and recommend this video to many people out there. And you can see the raw file that I took as the hour was starting, and I was taken using a Canon 6D camera. So, the very first thing I tend to do when it comes to retouching and color grading, I first of all do the retouching within the camera filter so i'm just going to come right here and i'll simply take down the highlights and i'm just going to take down the whites then basically i'm just going to add contrast by taking down the blacks and also adding contrast to the image and taking down the exposure a little bit so i'll just come to the shadows and simply open up the shadows of this image just a tiny bit so this is a quick before and after so after i've done all this the next thing i would prefer to do is coming down to my basic adjustments or my color mixer tool and under color mixer what i tend to do i'm just going to come to my skin tone and since it has oranges i'll just come and darken the skin tone a little bit by taking the orange slider down to add more contrast to the skin tone after a negative 12 that looks great so i'll just come to my hues and i simply take out because i want the model to stand out a little bit more and i don't want the yellows in the background to distract or take out the attention from the model so i'm just going to come to my yellows and i'll simply hue them and make them more on the green side so that the model can stand out a little bit more then after doing that the next thing i'll do i'll just do the same for my greens and I take them towards the aqua so that they can pop throughout the background. Then I'll come to my saturation and simply desaturate uh, the greens because I felt like the saturation was a little bit intense or too much. And I'll just increase the saturation of the orange or the oranges to make the oranges pop a little bit more. So you can see quick before and after for just processing this image within the camera row filter so after i've done this i'll just come and simply click on open in order to open the image into photoshop so that you can do the skin retouching so if i told you have a number of images you can as well create a preset and apply it on all the images from that session and simply open all the images to photoshop so this is the image right now and we are now in photoshop so in photoshop the very first thing i tend to do before doing any skin retouching is simply cropping the image since i post images on instagram i'll crop the image or the photo in a ratio of 45 because this occupies the whole screen when i post it so this composition is fine because it eliminates the overblown out sky right above that so i'm just going to come and simply hit enter oh, okay so right now we are done cropping the image so the next thing that we would love to do is doing the skin retouching. So in order to retouch a full body image, I'm just going to be using frequency separation. And I'll be using my actions. So if I told you you don't have my actions, you can simply purchase my actions by simply checking the links in the description of this video and you'll get all these actions right here. The ones I use for speeding up or making my retouching process quicker or faster within Photoshop. So I'll, since this is a 16-bit image, I'm just going to come and simply click on 16 bit right here and i'll simply play my action so usually for half body photos or full body images i simply zoom in and look for the skin area so for this i simply use a radius of between five or six so for this i'm just going to be using a radius of around five five looks okay i'm just going to click on okay right here so this is going to create for me the frequency separation layers and after it has created these layers the next thing i'm going to do is simply going straight to a skin retouching process so with this i'm just going to come to uh, this layer because i prefer to not to use the black and white layer but if at all you prefer to use it as a whole plate can also guide you and show you where to retouch and where not to retouch as you're trying to do the cleanup process within photoshop so i'm just going to come to the high frequency and simply hide it and come under the brushes right here and simply right click and get the mixer brush tool and for settings i'm just going to be using a hardness of zero and make sure 
clean brush is selected. Make sure the option that says clean the brush after each and every stroke is selected. Then also weight is 9, load of 75. Mix at 90 and the flow of 100%. Make sure sample orders is not checked. And after this is done, come and simply select the layer that is containing the colors or skin tones, which is the low frequency layer. And with this, simply zoom in by pressing Ctrl Command Plus on the keyboard and slightly reduce on the size of the Mr. Brush tool depending on the area you're trying to work on. You can as well decrease or increase on the size of the Mr. Brush tool by using the open and close brackets on the keyboard. So I just come and simply blend the transitions within the skin color or skin tones of a model. So for full body images, usually I don't do too much. So always make sure that you retouch at a distance because as you're doing this, you don't want or you want to be looking at the image from a distance and you don't want to do so much of uh, the retouching because no one is going to zoom it in and at the end of it all you want to save time trying to do the skin retouching on the photos or on the images themselves so i'm just going to uh use the mr brush tool so basically what we are doing we are mixing colors that are looking alike and trying to blend or create a smooth transition within those colors i'm just going to come and continue uh blending or mixing colors that are looking alike and evening them out uh, within the skin and like i said for full images always make sure to retouch at a distance so i'm just doing this and you can see that this takes a short time as opposed to zooming all the way in because when you zoom all in it is not going to be showing you the uneven skin tone transitions and you may mess up uh your retouching process i'm just going to be showing you this in a while so i'm done working on the top body so i'll just come down here and reduce on the size and just mix the skin color or skin tones on the legs of a model so i'm just going to mix these colors and create a smooth transition between those colors so i'm just going to be doing this and right now for full body images you don't have to take so much but always make sure that you practice so right now i'm done working on the skin and i'm just going to zoom out and you can see a quick before and after for the retouching process this, this is a before after before after so you can now zoom in and look for the blemishes and simply clean up or remove the blemishes by using a clone stamp tool holding on the option alternate key on the keyboard and copying skin left clicking to copy a skin and simply click over the blemish to eliminate it or remove it from uh, the skin area so right now we are now done retouching the skin of a model and anything that would love to do is simply doing a little bit of eye and teeth whitening so i'm just going to close this i'm just going to come to the hue and saturation adjustment layer and simply desaturate the image up around negative 75 and press ctrl command i on the keyboard to invert the layer mask and we're going to come to the brushes and simply get a soft round brush right here and with that simply come and make sure the hardness is at zero percent opacity and the flat hundred percent make sure you have black and white on these two boxes right here or you can switch between black and red by using x on the keyboard so make sure white is on top so if i told you have another color right here simply click on the small boxes to reset so after doing that zoom all the in by using ctrl or command plus on the keyboard and that will help you uh, zoom in and right now we just want to do eye whitening so reduce on the size of the brush by using the bracket keys on the keyboard and we're just going to desaturate or paint in the white area of the eye to do a little bit of some white whitening of the eye so you can see right now we are done whitening the eyes of our model right now so I'm done doing the eye whitening. So the next thing after retouching is saving or exporting the image. So in order to save the image, simply come to file, export and come to export as remember, you want to export or save a very sharp image. And in order to do that, just come to export, export as. Yeah, you come to file, export and go to export as. So just come to the resample, make sure the quality is 100%. The resample change to by cubic sharper. And make sure the color space is checked to convert srgb and also embed color profile and when you're done doing that simply choose a location where you want to save the image 
after hitting the export button when the image is done loading in this preview window and simply click on export and choose a location where you want to save your image at the end of it all so when you save your image this way it means it won't change in color when you post it or print it out so basically this is how to retouch and color grade within photoshop and if at all you have learned something from this tutorial don't forget to give this video a like don't forget to comment in the comment section and above it all remember to subscribe this channel if at all you haven't hit the subscribe button ronix from ronix photography thank you for thank you for watching i'll see you in yet more tutorials on, on this channel don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating